Hey, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on um, ways to extrude a flat vector shape into a 3D shape. So in my case, I wanted to make like a stop sign and uh, I tried using Blender and Cinema 4D and I'm really awkward with those tools. I'm more used to 2D interfaces and uh, Photoshop and Illustrator and whatnot. So I figured I'd show you this uh, workflow. It's pretty quick and easy. You can just uh, use the polygon tool here. You can click anywhere. I'm going to do an eight sided polygon. It's a bit big for me. So I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to make a copy of this, which is Control C and Control F. I'm going to hold Option and Shift and scale that in. And now you can see I've got that over this guy. And with my Pathfinder, I'm going to do select those and do minus front. So now we've got just a single object here. I don't know if this is necessary, but I always scan my artboard to fit. And I'm going to save that. Uh, can sorry export it as an SVG. I'll just take the default options. So now I'm in Photoshop and making sure that your document is in RGB mode. You can drag that file in here. You can see it's a smart object. It's got that little icon there in the bottom right. And it's got this 3D menu. And you can say new 3D extrusion from selected layer. So now it switches you into this 3D mode. And you can set your depth. You can see it's pretty deep. Uh, by the way, I can orbit around this scene and you can kind of see, see what it looks like a little bit. And now from the 3D menu, you can choose Export 3D Layer, choose my format. This is going into Mozilla Hubs, which only allows for GLB files, which is a pretty modern format, so that's good. And uh, GLB. Got that. And now in here, I can Find my GLB, drag it into the window here. It's already set up. I can change the scale. Move it around here, and there's your 3D octagon from a flat SVG file.